flow. I'ma throw it back on. You girl, listen, these knees they've been getting strong since I started this bus. Stuff they're doing, you think I ain't see you? I seen you. <laughs> you looking good and you looking blessed, queen. Thank you, thank you. It's the sun, girl. Yes, you know, our melanin we just glow like that. So, whew, child, I'm a little tired. I was over here trying to throw it in a circle. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're so, fine. I just want to know. How have you been? Oh, sorry, I gotta peek my head in. Hey, <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm, the, I'm good. I'm the owner of ninety four seven. I just want to tell you, like for real, I've been following everything you've been doing, and I feel like that's really dope. That do, through every day, the little shit they was trying to throw online, like you still did your thing. Like you set the example for all of these indie artists out here. Like you kept that Thank shit pushing. You. So Thank I just want to tell you, like, to you, and congratulations. Listen, I went to sleep with my phone in my hand like that busted me. And I was like, yes. She been watching busted yes. challenge. <laughs> Thank you for making that challenge. <laughs> Thank you for being a part of the challenge. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> if you got trending numbers, it came from DJ Rowe. I promise you. I, I, I so appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just want to ask you, you have been doing music since college. Like, yeah. This has been a long time. Like, I just want to let everybody know this is not a beginning thing for Erica. Like, you had your first record title, Talk My Shit, and then also a mixtape, but a uh, debut of Art of Hustle and two more, Cocky on Purpose and Pressure. Yeah. So how does it feel coming from that growth in that one space to now bust it that has exploded? How do you feel with that evolution? Um, it's crazy. It's crazy because I remember when it was just me and my mom, you know, I left college. I was, um, I was 19 and it was just me and my mom. She was setting up my bookings. I was writing in my little notebook at the time. I wasn't even in the notes in my phone. I was writing on a journal, you know, and, um, I was putting out my projects by myself, uploading them by myself. And, you know, to finally be here where I have, you know, two really big teams, two really great teams. And, I'm finally living, you know, the life I wanted to live. It almost feels unreal, almost. You know, like I wake up and get on the internet and all I see is me for the past two weeks. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> um, but I am thankful. I'm grateful. It's exciting. You know, I'm glad that everything is finally falling into place. I definitely understand that. I saw that you left college and I feel like you are an inspiration for people to truly follow when it comes to do what you love. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, you're, you're very smart. You went to school for nursing. You're very smart. Oh, and you were yeah. like, but this I was is not what nurse. I learned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that wasn't your passion, but your passion was music and you made it happen. So what is the advice you would give anyone who is struggling with that decision right now in their life? Um, I would say you just have to believe in yourself enough to do it. It starts with that. Um, I believe that I could do it. That's why I stepped out on faith. I left school. Um, I actually unenrolled before I even told my parents. So I just kind of called my parents like, hey, y'all, I just unenrolled in school. I'm about to rap. Um, so I think that- <laughs> How did they feel? Have, uh, my mom cried. She was very upset. Um, and my dad was just like, well, you have a year for something to pop off. And if nothing pop off in a year, you got to go back to school. So luckily, right before that year hit again, I had got signed. So I was great. I was glad. Um, but yeah, I would tell anybody, you know, just keep going. Try it. You won't know until you try it. If I hadn't left school, I still be in school right now, you know, when I could be doing this. So I feel like you got a lot of grind in you. Like I never imagined like you didn't close one door until you were sure that next door would be open for you, but you knew that by faith. And so that's oh, yeah. one thing I find admirable about you. Now yeah. you Carl Crawford was the one who discovered your music, correct? Yes. Now, what made you send him your music? Um, it was actually an Instagram live that he was on and people were uh submitting their music and getting his feedback. And I said, okay, well, at the time I had busted. It was already out. And I said, well, I'm gonna send him busted. You know, well, I didn't send it to him, it was on YouTube. So I was like, you know, look up my song. He found it on YouTube, he played it. Everybody in the room liked it. And two weeks after that, he reached out to me in regards to signing me. And uh, I joined the team. That's a, like a perfect story. Like that's almost never happens for anybody. That's like the best luck 
ever, but God had his eyes on you, I believe. Yes, you know, how did it yes. feel on, on January 7th um, when it was revealed that you had signed to Warner Brothers? How did it feel to make that sign? Um, it felt great. You know, um, it was a great decision for me. It's a great situation. I'm very happy to be with them. Um, shout out to my label, Warner. Shout out to 1501, who I'm also still with. Um, and it just kind of felt, again, I'm going to just say it again because it just felt like that. It felt unreal, you know. I'm still trying to take it in and really realize that it is what it is now for me. Um, everything is new for me, especially today. It's been super fast. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to get ready for ATL tomorrow. So uh, <laughs> it's fun, but it's just new. <laughs> so who manages you right now? Right now, T. Nitty manages me. Uh, big shout out to T. Nitty. He does not have an Instagram. I need to get my man an Instagram. He just got a Twitter. But T. Nitty, <laughs> he's a great guy. That's so good. Now, I don't, I'm going to touch on it because you're above it. You know how you say it's above me now and you give it to God? Yeah. So one thing that I recognize is people always give a major comparison between you and Megan Thee Stallion. It's heard everywhere. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I've seen you um, stand up for yourself and pretty much say, you know, it's the accent that we all share in Texas. And when you're from Texas, you understand. So tell me, how do you combat the haters on a regular basis? Because there are troves of them. How does it make you feel that people compare you to her? Um, at this point, I'm numb to it because it's happened so much. So now I just expect it. So now I don't even feel a way about it. It's just like, oh, yeah people say that or oh yeah people think that you know um it doesn't bother me at this point at first it was kind of annoying but of course i'm human so it's gonna annoy me um but once i realized that that's something that people is gonna do i had to realize you know it's only gonna be more and more people that do it so i just learned to just accept it take it and you know continue to be me as an artist because that's all i can do is you know continue to be me so I do understand that because people do make the copycat comment a lot, but I do recognize that you stand with your own morals and values. Right. Um, you had stated in the past that you weren't going to, you know, follow the beating path of other people. Like when you realized that um, you said, I'll never be the type of artist rubbing elbows with every single person I meet in the game to be likable. Now, what do you feel like would be your ulterior move? other than doing that how do you feel like you would make your way to the top which is where you are where you are right now but furthering your way up that ladder i will continue to do you know just what i'm doing now you know being me um being myself you know that's all i know you know what i'm saying like in this industry i get that a lot of things are fabricated um but that is personally not my personality it's not my cup of tea um, I feel like genuine relationships are the best ones and I have a lot of genuine genuine relationships with DJs and um, influencers and it's based off you know them either liking my music or it's off of us meeting at an event and our energy just meshed you know stuff like that so I just feel like me personally it's best for me to just be myself because that's all I know how to do. What's the best industry connection you've made thus far that you felt is most beneficial to you? whether it be mentorship or just assistance in what you're doing in your career? Oh, that's hard. I've met a lot of people so far. Um, that's hard. I'm going to go big and I'm going to say Nicki Minaj. I'm going to say <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Um, comment she shouted you out, girl. She said yeah, she, she shouted me it. out. Uh, she followed me on all socials. She just liked my Buzzy Challenge post the other day. You know, so I'm just going to say it stemmed from me, though, just being a genuine artist and showing Nikki love in my freestyle. It was from the heart. It was real. She's forever my favorite female artist. So for me, just giving credit to Nikki, you know, it transpired into Nikki commenting, which transpired into a follow, which transpired into her liking my post on the regular. So it's like, you know, I've created a, a somewhat relationship already through social media by just being, you know, sincere. I saw how excited you were because that's somebody you look up to as well as our hometown hero here, Missy Elliott. We love right. her I love to Missy. death. I love Missy. I yes. want to do a record with her as well. I say it all the time. I love her. I'm sure she'll do it. Listen, I'm sure she'll do it because you are extremely talented. Now, one thing that I realized is that all of this viral attention came overnight. When you hit that over 200 million mark, where were you and what were you doing? Um, I 
was in, wait, you talking about the music video or TikTok? The TikTok when it went viral. Oh, I was asleep, actually. <laughs> um, I woke up in the morning to so many messages and calls. My phone was going crazy. Like, have you seen your song on TikTok? It's blowing up. It's going crazy. Now, this was a week ago. And when I got on TikTok, it only had 5,000 videos. Um, seven days later, we're at a million videos, which is crazy. Um, so it jumped from 5,000 to a million within seven days. And I think that is out of this world. Um, but when I first saw it, it was exciting. I was like, oh, my God, like, people are really dancing to my song out of nowhere, you know. And to see the numbers keep increasing at the speed they are currently, um, I'm just grateful. I'm thankful. Um, very blessed. Very excited, you know. And I just want to keep the numbers rising. So, I, you know, shout out to everybody who's done a Busted Challenge. Shout out to Erica, who created the Busted Challenge. Her name is Erica, coincidentally. Yeah, it is. Uh, I saw that. She, El Erica Delavia or Davia or Davia. I'm sorry. I think it's Davia. Yeah, something, something, like like something, like something like that. But I shout I out on my, my head, page, on my so. heart, guys. I mean all love. Trust me. Now, yeah. when, when Busted transitions over, what do we have? To look forward to which is going to take a minute because busted is now an iconic trend i want you to know busted is like the cha-cha slide now it is like the yeah. macarena it is like busted is going to forever be forever like officially i hope you yeah. know so what do we have to look forward to that you're you know cooking up in the kitchen for us right now um of course it's always going to be new music um remixes it might be a remix with your fave artists we never know um uh, bigger music videos bigger production um, you know, merchandise, my fans and supporters have been asking for merchandise, so we're getting my website together for that so we can get that going. Um, and overall, you know, just the bigger banks, you know, we just want to continue to push me and continue to, you know, have me thrive and, you know, just do what I came to do. Now, I see that um, with every artist, there is pros and cons to this industry. Now, where do you feel like your pros are and where do you feel like your cons are thus far? Um, I feel like it's all pros right now. Everything's going good. Um, I haven't ran into any crazy situations or any bad situations. Um, I'm really just getting started, to be honest. So right now, I would still say I have the pros going on. The pros would be, um, I mean, it's so many. Where do I start? Um, I have an original record with a sample that nobody sampled before. You're uh, number five on iTunes. Yeah, yeah, I'm number five on iTunes, you know. <laughs> I've been in the top ten for the past week in my first week of blowing up. Um, I went from 5,000 to a million videos in a week, which I've never heard of for a new artist. Um, and I really just think I'm breaking barriers as a new artist because I just haven't ever seen somebody move so fast in a few days. So, you know, shout out to TikTok. <laughs> now, how does your family feel about you? I know you said you're very close to your mom. Um, how do they feel about this whole transition in your life? Um, they're so excited. I talked to my brother today, actually. He's so excited for me. My parents are excited. My whole family is excited for me because they know that this is something I've been wanting to do since I was a kid. I used to tell my dad when I was like seven, like, I want to be a rapper when I grow up. He used to say, stop telling people that. You're embarrassing me. Um, you know, but now, now he tell people, oh, my daughter, Erica Banks, you know. Um, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He fake. But, you know, they excited for me. So I'm just glad that they're behind me. That's so good. <laughs> What's your creative process like? When you make your music, like, what does that look like for you? Um, in the studio, I typically like to just go through a beat pack, and I just like to pick one that I like. After I find one I like, I'll sit down, I'll write to it, I'll go record, and that'll be it. Or if I have the beat prior to the session, I'll write the full song before getting to the studio, and then I'll come to the studio and record. It just depends on if I have the beat when I get there or, you know, before I come. But it's really quick. Do you have any favorite producers, engineers, studios, places you like to go in particular? Um, I don't have any favorite studios. I can get the same vibe at any studio. But my favorite producers would have to be Sergeant J, who produced Busted. Shout out to him. Um, Dodo, who produced Trip Out, that is also out. And I don't have a third favorite producer. I really work with them the most. Shout out to all the producers I work with, but I work with those two the most. So it would have to be Sergeant J and Dodo. Now, can you... Tell us what you would do. I know I asked you at the beginning, like, how to get to where you are. What advice would you give other people? Is there anything else that you could share, like gem droppers or things like that? Oh, yeah. Wait, before we get to that, what made you choose the Nelly song? 
Um, well, Sergeant J chose that. Because that's, that's a throwback. Yeah, that's a question for Sergeant J, the producer. Uh, he had already had the beat made, and he just played it for me. And I was like, oh, that's dope. Let's take it back to the 2000s, you know. And then we followed <laughs> up with Tooth That. You know, shout out to um, Huey and his family. Rest in peace to him. But, um, yeah, he wanted to do a 2000s vibe, so he played it. I was cool with it, and we ran with it, so. I feel like you really pumped some life back into Nelly. I'm not saying Nelly wasn't hot. I'm just saying we won't listen to Nelly for a while. And then, boom, here you come with the Busted Challenge. And we like, oh, my God, this fire. Right. Right. Most definitely. Well, I genuinely appreciate you getting up here with us on 94.7 The Link. And I want to thank you for being in the Busted Challenge with oh, us. me too. Love from our owner. And there's, is there any shout outs you want to give or anything before we go? No, not you, Erica. Sorry. Um, I just want to thank everybody that supported me. I want to thank everybody that's done a Busted Challenge. If you have not, go tap in. It's going crazy right now. Go download the record. Go watch the video. Go stream all the other music under my name if you have not. And um, that's about it. And also, when I do my Busted Challenge, make sure you repost me. You see how I look. I'm a stud. So I throw on a dress for you and do this challenge. I need that repost. <laughs> Stop picking on Erica. Thank I'm you. Froze. I don't even know what she said. I bet she was not froze. She's probably looking at you like, absolutely not. <laughs> Look, it is frozen. Like, it's frozen. She froze I'm froze the shit out of her phone. <laughs> oh my God. Woo! Thank you so much, Erica. We love you so much. And we appreciate you tuning in with us. About yeah. Oh, you're freezing. Yeah, your your screen is like frozen. Uh, <laughs> it's still freezing. What, what <laughs> Damn, I made it go in slow motion. You so dramatic. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I just love how down to earth she is, though. She's weak, though. It's like a slow mo week. <laughs> All right, guys. I want to stay on the line, but it's like a slow mo. Yeah, y'all. I, I think I made frozen. her thing go slow. I'm sorry, our owner. Bro just froze up the whole conversation. It's coming back a little bit. <laughs> what you, I don't know. It's like, it's slow. This is the world we live in. <laughs> it's like it's really frozen. I feel bad. I don't want to hang up. <laughs> What's she saying? I don't know. It's it's broke. Is it us? No, it's it's her. It's it it just everybody say hello. It's okay, Erica. I know that you are showing so much love and giving us such a good vibe. Huh? Keep doing your thing, girl, because it's frozen. So I, I know you're saying something positive, but 